day in the life i'm so excited to spend the day with you guys today i feel like it's been ages it's actually only been like a week but it feels ages i think it's such a routine of uploading these cozy little vlogs every single sunday but i feel really weird that you guys are going to be seeing this on the wednesday um i had such a busy week last week i just had so many things to do and there's just a lot going on kind of like behind the scenes at the moment good exciting stuff like loads of really exciting things but just a lot to think about and i didn't really get the chance to just sit down and just vlog all day still going to try and have one vlog a week because i just love that i love being able to catch up with you guys and i know you really enjoy them which makes me so happy but they might be a little bit all over the place at the moment like they might not be every single sunday they might be on a wednesday instead or maybe even like a little extra upload and i'm excited for normal life just to resume as much as homely cozy vlogs are one of my favorite things to film ever i kind of just am running out of things to do inside so i'm excited for when we can just go out and just do normal things i feel like my vlogs will be a little bit more exciting um but it makes me happy that you do just enjoy the chilled days as much as me so thank you for always just being so lovely and enjoying the little things in life like i do too today i've got a nice cozy day at home planned which i'm really looking forward to i'm looking forward to just doing lots of nice little things with you instead of having a million and one things to do sat at my computer so we are going to be doing some spring baking, which I'm looking forward to. I've also got a few things around the house to organise and I might do a little bit of a clean as well. And I also have a big exciting parcel from Lounge here to show you. I've got so many new bits which are just so nice. So Lounge actually have a huge sale running at the moment to celebrate their fifth birthday. Everything in today's little lounge hall will be in the sale. Now the sale is kind of running until the stock sells out so if there's anything that you like be quick because once the stock is gone the sale on that item has ended if that makes sense. So if you have been wanting to try out lounge for a while or you've had your eye on anything now is the perfect time to purchase because you will save yourself some money. Okay starting with my favourite item which I have actually been wearing because it's just the comfiest little set ever is these gorgeous pinstriped pyjamas and in this set you get a shirt and also these shorts and i love the detail on these as you can see in the pinstripes it says lounge these actually do come in two different colors oh, how pretty is that and these are in the softest material ever these are going to be perfect for spring summer as they are super lightweight so i picked up the mink pair you can actually get these in gray as well which i am going to buy because these are up there with my favourite pyjamas, they're just so comfortable to wear, but I still feel like they look really nice. Um, I think that's important with pyjamas, that they're comfy but still you feel nice in them. And the pinstripe pyjama set was actually £55, but in the sale you can get your hands on this set for £46.75. Next I picked up a big oversized hoodie, I love lounges, apparel pieces, they are just the most beautiful quality ever. Everything feels like really luxury, that's one thing that I always say about lounge, the quality of their underwear and their pyjamas and their apparel is amazing and it really does last for such a long time. I've got sets of underwear from years ago, I've also got hoodies from years ago, they wash really well and they just really do last. So I picked up this big oversized hoodie, 
this comes in nude and also comes in black and it's got lounge embroidered here which i just think is a really subtle lovely detail it has a nice big hood and also so these details on the sleeves as well it's just a really really lovely hoodie and the basic oversized hoodie was 45 pounds but in the sale you can get your hands on this for only 33 pounds 75 which is amazing okay next i've got some really beautiful pieces of underwear lounge underwear is pretty much the only underwear that i own it's just so comfortable and looks so pretty it also comes packaged separately in these little bags which i love so I opted for some like spring colours seeing as the seasons are changing and oh my god they have got so many beautiful beautiful pieces. How beautiful is this? So this is actually called the Luxe Balcony Set and I don't have this colour, I am obsessed. They also have this colour in this beautiful lemon yellow as well. Um, I think that one was sold out but that one was super springy but I just love this almost violet colour. Now, another thing about lounge is the lace is really, really, really soft. It's not itchy at all and it just feels really luxury. I love as well how on this bra, the lace kind of goes up the straps. I think that's so pretty and that's going to look really pretty with like a little top as well. This bra has underwire, but the underwire is really, really comfortable. It doesn't dig in at all. It just keeps everything in place and it looks really, really flattering. And then at the back, you have the lounge logo and adjustable straps as well this is such a pretty set i also picked up the matching bottoms which are so pretty they have this like lace crossover detail and then they have the lounge branding on the sides love this color so much Lux balcony set was actually 50 pounds but it's now 37 pounds 50. this actually does come as a set as well so you will get your top and bottoms and another thing i love as well is they cater for all shapes and sizes which i think is so amazing our sizes actually go from a 38 to a 38 g and the sizes of like the bottoms and the apparel goes from an extra small to an extra large okay i think this next one's my favorite or am i just going to say that about every single set so this one is the classic balcony and this color is just everything look how beautiful this color is i love the original balcony set because i do feel like it gives me a little bit more support than the luxe balcony um just because the cups are fuller as you can see again it's this beautiful lace which is just so soft and i just think this is the prettiest color ever again you have the adjustable branded straps and also the branding around the bottom which i think is so pretty and yeah this is a really really supportive but still really beautiful bra like you just feel really beautiful when you're wearing this set and i also got the matching bottoms as well which look like this so pretty and the balcony set actually has 30 percent off so you can get your hands on this for only 35 pounds when it's normally 50. we've got another favorite is the bamboo triangle this is like an everyday bra for me because it really is just so comfy and it almost feels like you're not wearing a bra because it's just jersey it has no underwire and it's just a perfect casual like t-shirt bra so i picked up this one in just all nude which is so gorgeous i don't actually have this one i think i have nearly every other color but i just thought this one was so pretty and simple and it's going to be great just to wear around the house this material is honestly like silk it's jersey it's not silk but it feels just so soft and so luxury and this will just be perfect to wear on days like today where i'm just at home and i just want to be comfortable but i also want the support of a bra so this bra is in like normal sizes instead of bra sizes so it goes from extra small to extra large and i usually get a medium in this it's perfect for me it just feels really comfortable not too tight and just a lovely little bit of support around the house and then i also got the matching bottoms which again are just so pretty i love this nude color you can get these either in a thong or briefs as well the bamboo set also has a huge 30 percent off so you can get your hands on this set for 28 pounds instead of 40. i would say this is definitely definitely a lounge classic i feel like this was one of the first sets that they came out with a lovely set to almost like start your lounge collection Okay, last but definitely not least, we have another one of my favourites. We have the Bold Mesh set. I have this in so many different colours because I just adore the fit of this one. I got the white set, which I just thought would be, be lovely and fresh for this season. And as you can see, it has the lounge branding 
on the mesh and this is so so soft when i first got this set i remember when it first came out back last year i was kind of i was unsure what to expect with the fit of this but oh my god it's so nice it's almost like as comfy as a sports bra but still looks really sexy because obviously it's mesh but still feels really supportive so yeah this is a really lovely bra especially if you want to just be really really comfy i also got the matching briefs as well which have this part of the side which i love and yeah this set is just amazing again for every day it's really comfortable but really really supportive but you still feel really nice because it's like mesh and it just looks beautiful on so you can actually get the bold mesh set for 22 pounds 75 instead of 35 pounds which is amazing and again this comes in loads of different colors all of the sets that i've shown you come in so many different colors so there really is something for everyone i feel like i've got quite a a colorful haul this time usually i just get black nude and white but because it's spring I just really fancied getting these beautiful colours, which I cannot wait to wear. My loves, as always, I will leave a direct link to Lounge in the description box below. Um, if you have seen anything you like, be quick because you can save yourself so much money. And once the items are sold out, they are unfortunately not in the sale anymore. So be quick. <laughs> What we felt and said Red wine in your bed On the naked floor Behind that gated door Always so discreet On Watch Bang I've just made us some little smoothie bowls for brunch. I feel like these are the prettiest smoothie bowls I've ever made. Usually they just go all over the place. But with these ones, I actually wanted to make like a sunny spring inspired smoothie bowl. So I mixed some frozen mango with some coconut milk and then just blended it all up. And then on top, we've just got some granola, some cut up strawberries, some blueberries, and also some desiccated coconut and some chai seeds. So excited to try this. And everything just looks so much cuter in coconut bowls. I absolutely love them. Cheers, everyone. I've almost finished my coffee now. Iced coffees, they just go down too well. And then I end up drinking like six and wondering why I can't sleep. I am very excited to try this. I've been on Pinterest again, just giving myself all the like food inspo and I kept meaning to pick up all of the ingredients for this. Not like you really need many. Um, I was hoping to find like a yellow smoothie mix somewhere, but apparently that doesn't exist. I think I found a tropical smoothie mix on Morrison's which looked really nice because it had like little bits of coconut in but they were sold out so I couldn't get any of that so I'm quite excited to see what this tastes like I don't like the texture of that spoon 
I'm just gonna get a normal spoon. Oh, that spoon's made me go all weird. It felt like furry. Do you know what it felt like actually? You know when you're eating an ice lolly and you bite and the sticks there, it felt like that. It was absolutely horrible. Let me try it again because I feel like I didn't really get the full, the full experience with that spoon. Mm. You need to try this. It tastes like Solero. Have you tried it yet? You like it? I don't know if you heard that, all I could hear was mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> Jamie said it's hard to talk when he's got a mouthful of freezing cold fruit. True. Mm. I'm gonna put a bit more granola on it though, because I'm I've kind of eaten my all my granola and I'm left with just frozen mango. <laughs> this granola, by the way, so nice. May as well tip it on. YOLO. I love granola. It's actually one of life's best creations that is literally on everywhere but on my bowl. Mm. <coughs> now I've got granola stuck in my throat. This is not going well. <coughs> Just choking on a seed. Huh? Yeah, I'm just choking. Nothing to worry about. House updates. So the last vlog you guys would have seen, we went to view a potential new house and we put an offer in. So on the same day, um, we got our offer accepted, which is so exciting. And now we're just in the long process of getting our mortgage and waiting for everything to go through. There is literally so much to it, more than I could have ever imagined. Um, I knew it was going to be like a long process because everyone who's ever bought a house is like, it's the longest process ever. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on what's happening. Um, but yeah, really, really exciting. Try still trying not to... I said to Jamie the other day, I feel like I'm excited, don't get me wrong, like I can't wait. And the actual thought of us moving and having a house is like the most happiest feeling ever. But I'm trying not to feel that just yet, just in case. I don't want to be negative at all and I want to put all of my positive energy into it. But potentially exciting times ahead, hopefully exciting times ahead. We find out more next week, like we find out kind of where we stand a little bit more. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you guys updated, but I've got everything crossed. That like it just goes through smoothly and we can move in. Like, Do you know what as well is really exciting? It's... It's like ready to go next month. Not getting excited, she says. I literally downloaded an app last night to plan the floor plan. It was an ad on Instagram, so my phone's been listening to me once again. But apparently you can put like the floor plan of your house on there and then you can just like plan where you want everything. I'm a very, very visual person. and I, I basically don't get it unless I can see it. Um, so I kind of just wanted to like sketch out where we'd have everything um, Not getting too excited or anything over here, but yeah, I felt like I really wanted to do that just so I could Know in my head, but it's so exciting and I wish it would just Everything would be sorted now The more I'm eating the smoothie the more I'm just enjoying it You guys need to try it. All you actually need is frozen mango coconut milk granola strawberries blueberries coconut chai seeds to be honest you don't actually even need all of that you could just get frozen mango and coconut milk and then put whatever you want on top it's blooming lovely jamie's moody because he's building a website and he's very moody when he builds websites i can hear slamming around moody when I talk to him when he's in the middle of something men I'm gonna stay out of his way today but I would like him to cook dinner tonight so I'm gonna be impressed by how he feels 
Good morning from a very, very sleepy Tilly. <laughs> Too tired to even open your eyes and say hello, aren't you? <laughs> She's molting so much at the moment. Gonna have to start brushing her like all day long because even when you stroke her, just all of this hair comes out. I always find like March time. I remember last year in March, she just was absolutely molting everywhere. You're molting everywhere, aren't you? <laughs> but I bought a brilliant cleaning tool actually, which if you have cats or dogs or any kind of fluffy animal, this is going to just make your life so much easier. Um, let me get it and show you. Okay, first job on today's list is sort out my cleaning cupboard because I can't find anything. This is the most chaotic cupboard ever. It always ends up like this. Like every week I find I have to rearrange it because after I finished a big cleaning sesh, the last thing I then feel like doing is clearly <laughs> putting everything back in its space. So it kind of just gets thrown in here. Look at this Soflora collection. I have a problem <laughs> with collecting Zoflora's. Um, I'm actually going to go through this today and like pick out my spring ones. I love using a different Zoflora for a different season. Where is it? Aha! Here it is. So this little device even has ears on it which I just think is absolutely adorable. But, oh my god, so I did the dining chairs where Tilly and Teddy lay all the time the other day. Just one little go, all of this hair came off the dining chairs, which is crazy. Until just recently, I haven't really noticed the molting, so I was actually pretty surprised with the sheer amount of hair. So I'm going to do the bed today and also the sofas and maybe even I might have a go on the carpet, but it's brilliant. You literally just rub it on any surface like this and then all of the hair collects up in here so, so if you do have a fluffy little pet one of these is an absolute must i could do with actually going to b m or home bargains and i need some new um, microfiber cloths i need some new sponges i need some new um laundry bits as well so i think i'm going to take a trip there later on this week so that's a few to do's that i want to get ticked off this morning are sort the cleaning cupboard out sort the utility room out i also need to just go through the fridge and just check the dates on everything and give it a little bit of an organize because of that is a mess so i'm gonna get on with that and stop procrastinating i've just stood in something disgusting in my slipper there was something like bouncy on my slipper and i looked on the bottom and it's just a mangled treat that Teddy has very kindly, Jesus Tilly, <laughs> that Teddy has just very kindly decided to chew and then just spit out in the middle of the floor. And I just stood in it and it was honestly, it was like a pepper, pepperami. Remember the long pepperamis in the green wrappers? Ooh. fresh meals look yummy as always so this week i chose fragrant chicken curry we've also got sweet and sour style chicken which we've had this one a few times and it's one of our favorites and then i also got an extra one because i always get my mum one each week so i'll drop that off to her this week Oh, 
You're rolling over. <laughs> Is that lovely? <laughs> I mean, Tilly, it would be lovely if you didn't have your bum poked in the air right in front of me. That was what we call a successful brushing session. Look, it looks like a little baby Tilly. Oh my God. Days pass and I'm still the same inside my head. in the depths of the cleaning cupboard which is now lovely and organized i found some springs floras which i think i'm going to pop in my little cleaning caddy so i can use them over the next few months so i got peony blush springtime lemon zing white blossom and of course hello spring i've got so many in there i've literally got a horde of christmas ones because obviously i like to start using my christmas scents in like october time um so i like to buy loads when i find them so i don't actually have to wait until december until my house smells of cinnamon so i thought this afternoon it'd be fun for us to make some bread and i'm not some actual bread because i've never made bread in my life and i hear that it's very very hard so going to make some lazy bread um if you look in supermarkets there are loads and loads of different like bread mixes and i bought loads a while back and just never really got round to making them now i won't lie to you i just have to ask youtube how to pronounce this properly because i got scared of people coming for me telling me that that was the wrong way to say it because i swear that's some people's favorite thing to do <laughs> So, this is what I've been listening to for the past few minutes. The way they would say it in Italy itself, focaccia, focaccia, because there is a double C there. Foc so we're making today focaccia bread. Um, and, oh my god, I have had this in coats and it's the most delicious bread ever. But I thought we could kind of make it a bit more springy. Um, I don't know why I keep saying that word because it's not even a word. But I am going to make this and then I saw on Pinterest these beautiful like flowery focaccias which I just thought looked so so pretty. What I need to do is add water and oil to this mix so it sounds pretty easy. Um, so I'm going to do that and then to decorate it I got loads of different bits. So if you type into like Pinterest floral focaccia or flowery focaccia it actually like shows loads of different designs so i kind of just like had a look at them and then thought of veg that could make those patterns so i got some black olives some peppers like all different shaped peppers so i could make different shaped flowers i'm so excited it's gonna look so cute and then i also just got loads of different herbs so i got some chives some flat leaf parsley some rosemary some basil and also some curly parsley and some different coloured tomatoes. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Is 
done i'm so so happy with it it was really hard to tell what it was going to look like cooked um because ev because obviously everything shrinks down quite a lot i felt like it looked really busy um but now it's gone in the oven and everything's kind of shrinked down i feel like i could have done with some more parsley and some more olives because they've gone really really tiny but i'm so happy with it i think next time I'm going to try and do one this way because when I was looking on Pinterest there were loads of really like pretty ones with like different types of flowers going up this way so I think my next focaccia bread is going to be landscape um, but I'm so happy with it, it looks so pretty. This would make as well such a lovely gift. I feel like I'm going to make my mum one of these because she would just think this is so cute. I want to try a little bit but I don't want to ruin my masterpiece mind you i don't really know what i'm gonna do with it if i don't eat it shall i try a bit let's try a little bit literally just ripped off the tiniest little piece because i didn't want to destroy anything mm. Mm. it's still a little bit warm i love bread If I could live on bread forever, I'd do it. Mm. Wow. We've just come into the bedroom and <laughs> Teddy has a new favourite little den in here. We actually thought we lost him the other day um, and we were looking everywhere for him and he was just chilling in between the cushions and now he goes there every single day he's taken teddy's <laughs> den to a whole new level well if it's gonna be a den it might as well be a proper den teddy oh i'm so jealous i want to <laughs> be in there oh my god teddy okay, you are living your best life in there <laughs> look at him oh. that's perfect daddy <laughs> That's our Teddy voice, by the way. Every morning when Jamie gives Teddy his milkies, um... I keep them in the bedside drawer. <laughs> Show everyone. <laughs> Inside Jamie's bedside drawer. I think you'll hear them. Oh no. What else is in there? <laughs> bedside snack drawer. Love notes. <laughs> Love notes, masks. Oh, look, he's coming in, I told and... you. Oh no. Oh, he's purring as well. You're gonna have to give him one now. Like push it in so that the sides pop out, or it sprays everywhere. <laughs> he has one every morning, and he's so oh, wait, wait. <gasps> he does meerkat. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, we are daddy. Please. Oh my god, that is the cutest thing. He always stands up. Because he can't wait to get it. I know. <laughs> Look at his little paw on your hand. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest thing ever. His little body looks so funny stood up. <laughs> this is their bonding time. <laughs> Milky's time Milky between daddy and son. We are actually ruled by cats. <laughs> in the cat sanctuary. Life, day in the life of the cats in the cat sanctuary. You finished. Aww. There's a certain way to hold these, that. Remember I told you? Yes. If I'm ever to give Teddy a Milkies, I get briefed on how to open it, how to hold it. So it doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> Aww. Are you over there? Oh my god, he's gone. <laughs> oh, Teddy. <laughs> You're me in cat form. Good evening everyone. It is now, it feels about 11 o'clock at night, I'm not gonna lie. I could genuinely go to sleep. I'm so tired. I had like a really scalding hot shower because I wanted to get all my crusty fake tan off my neck. Um, and it was just so lovely. And then I got into bed in my dressing gown, which we all know, once you do that, you got to have a nap. I didn't have a nap, but I, I genuinely could go to sleep. But 
it's now dinner time and tonight's a very special night because Jamie's cooking and it just feels like such a luxury experience when Jamie cooks. What are you cooking tonight, chef? I don't know. You don't know? What am I cooking? Mm, you've got two Shall I have a look? No, because you're gonna pick you're gonna pick the one thing that you can't have. <laughs> Why? Because it's mum's. And I got what? it specifically for her, but it's like your favourite thing. And oh, now brilliant. I feel bad. What is it? Better not be a cheeseburger. <laughs> is that what it is? That one's for mum. What? I'm sure she likes fragrant chicken curry. No, because I really want to have that one tonight. I got extra chicken out, actually, that needs to be eaten from the freezer. What's going on here? I had a little bit of it. A little bit? <laughs> when you guys saw me eat the focaccia, I kind of just didn't really stop. <laughs> Try a little bit. Okay. Don't... Oh. You nearly ripped my sunflower in half. What, what do you want to do? Save the... Eat around the sunflower? Yes, because <laughs> that's what I did. Jamie, you can't have all that. We're about to have dinner. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't rip a smaller piece off. Are you actually joking? No, look at the action. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's all I could get out I'm of. I'm upset with you for doing that. What kind of mm. savage does that? It's nice, isn't it? Delicious. I really want to eat some more, but I know that we've got dinner, and I, I'm like... I'm only a little bit hungry now. Are you hungry? Mm-hmm. You are? Mm. You better eat it. I will eat it. Of course I'll eat it if you cook because it's a luxury. <laughs> Scrolling through Instagram and I just wanted cake so much. There was like this reel of this like chocolate cake and I was like, oh, Uber Eats. We discovered Uber Eats. Like this is literally <laughs> like, it's been around for so many years, but I thought Uber Eats was just in places like London and Manchester, like big, big places. We only, us peasants over here only really get like, just eat. Uber Eats is bloody incredible. We've had Starbucks delivered a few times, even though we live right next to a Starbucks. Um, <laughs> amazing. I literally, every time I'm like, Alcohol. Oh, oh yeah, we've had wine <laughs> delivered. We had Haribo delivered the other day as well. How many times have we said, I wish there was someone that delivered alcohol. And Why all is this time, that delivers alcohol? All this time, those bloody... Uber Eats. Yeah. I know why I'm so tired. What is that? Because I've had so much coffee today that I'm just crashing. <laughs> that will genuinely be why. Well, you all know day I mean. I've been riding the coffee train and now <laughs> I'm just like, oh. Because with coffee, right, when you drink a lot, you just gotta keep going. You mustn't let yourself drop. You just gotta keep feeding the <laughs> coffee train. If you let it drop, you end up like this. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. What is this? What? what? Do you know what I mean? That's my milk. Whoa. Why is there just so much stuff in there? That's it? my milk for, for Jamie. That's not even the on button. I was pressing that <laughs> as the on button and it was plus squeezing the other sides. Why oh, don't want it? Show him the on button. So this is the on button. Jamie was pressing this, which is like, opens it to get to the batteries and he wondered why it just fell apart in his hands. You must have been pressing it, it from both working, sides. It was squeezing it, yeah. Annoying me in the background. And all the knives and forks clattering around. That clock's wrong, by the way. It is not. 20 to 11. It does feel like it, though. Maybe it is. <laughs> yeah. Maybe someone's playing with us. Extremely rare sighting today which is Jamie Sutherland in the kitchen cooking or the headless what man. Now, I don't mean to pick faults with your cooking, but he makes a bloody mess, let me tell you. Well, not yet, I haven't. It so looks sometimes when he's finished, perfect. it looks like a bomb. Many bombs have hit the kitchen. I'm not complaining <laughs> though, because I do love your cooking and it's so what? true that food tastes like so much nice when someone else has made it. So I feel like I'm getting a little bit of like a restaurant experience tonight, which I'm, I'm loving. Do you remember when you throw the garlic away? Oh, use the lazy garlic. Where you should it? know this by now, right in front of you. Oh yeah. Cheers. Mm. I 
forgot what wine tastes like without lemonade. So strong. So, we have decided that we're going to film a shot it or say it. No, say it or shot it. I keep saying it the wrong way around. Um, I've kind of been like toying with the idea of doing it for ages, but they kind of just make me feel a bit nervous and I flipping hate shots as well. Um, but, I'm actually going to upload it on, will actually be Sunday's upload. Um, and then after Sunday, hopefully it's going to go back to vlogs being on a Sunday. I just feel like this week has been a bit all over the shop. So Sunday's video is going to be a shot at all say it. I am excited and nervous. Are you excited or nervous? I must to the chef when he's cooking. Mm -hmm. I've just asked you guys to ask questions. Um. <laughs> Dinner's coming! Oh! Hi, do you want some um, that looks onions on there? No, thank you. No. This looks <laughs> delish. We love this sweet and sour. It's so nice. HelloFresh has taught Jamie to cook. I mean, I've still not learned. I just copy the instructions. So good at it though. If you want to get I'm your boyfriend to cook, get Hello Fresh. Mm. Actually, yeah, completely agree because mm. I could only cook a few things. Like I could do many variations of beans on toast. <laughs> beans on toast, beans on toast with bacon, cheesy beans on toast with bacon, cheesy beans on toast as well. Oh, just, just cheese, home. yeah. Just beans on toast. Mm. I can do poached egg on toast. I didn't know that. Scrambled egg on toast. I'm not very good at poached egg. They end up boiled. <laughs> we have just finished dinner, which was absolutely delicious. Well done, chef. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you everyone. <laughs> so that's going to go ahead and just move in my wine glass. I actually feel... Look at me in the corner. Drunk. Creeping around. <laughs> I've got Teddy creeping around. He can't see Teddy, can he? So my loves, that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. It's been such <laughs> a lovely day. It's <laughs> mutual then. Anyway, love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you. We shall see you. I never get to say that. Tell me, oh no. What's, oh no. You're going to drink a lot and then you're going to get drunk. Oh yeah. Honestly, I'm actually a recipe for disaster when I'm drunk. Like, it's just not pretty. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Night, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you on Sunday. Bye. <laughs>